Hello. I don't have my Zoom. Uh, hello, this is Card the Dreamin with another Create Mod video. Today it is uh, a guide for a Create and Cobble Mod add on that allows you to use the Toon Tandem. It is Create Cobble Mod Industrialized. It should be the first one that pops up as you search it. Here is the machine. Uh, this one is producing specifically great balls because I think they're much better value for your time. Uh, pretty much all you have to do if you want normal, the standard red Pokeballs is change these ones to red and remove this half. Okay, pretty much. Um, this only uses about a thousand stress units at 64 RPM, so it's quite light. Uh, these are the different block. Actually, wait a minute. Let me fix this because there are blocks you don't need in here. I was just grabbing a bunch of stuff. Apologies. Okay, this is a little more accurate to the items you will need. Uh, the mods required for this will be in the description, but of course you will need create Kalvamon. Uh, Kalman industrialized, and my personal suggestion: get storage drawers, either storage drawers or sophisticated storage, either one. I personally prefer storage drawers because it's what I'm more used to working with. This has very simple redstone in the back, so let's get to work. I'll grab all of the building materials, and then for this one in specific, we will be need black and yellow apricorns, except if we look at yellow dye, it can be applied to quite a few different ball types to create different things, like if you want quick balls, replace these with blue, etc. I just prefer great balls as, once again, they're what I prefer using. Although quick balls, I know, are definitely more of the, comp the competitive edge. So let's get started. First, I'm going to grab these out of my inventory. I'll be building them over here. Sorry about all the cobblemon just around. I tried to turn off natural spawning. So we place this down like this. And then out the back, as we can see with... Actually, apologies, I have not recorded one of these in a little bit. I've been playing too much modern Minecraft on a server. So out the back, we just do four because I have this as five. I have except it sits here. Uh, to make this bigger, I'd accept, suggest doing it a little taller, not going out the back because that just create more space you need back here. One, two, three, four. Uh, you could also use gantries for this. Gantries are probably the much smarter choice as they're probably simpler. I just did a sticky mechanical piston because it's what I came to mind and it's what I designed this round. So we will get deployers for this one. We need, we'll need six. Make sure you don't accidentally set a filter. Turn around, do this, and bam, you've got the main picker built. Then put a block of space. Then you can put your wall. I'll do five. Make sure you put apricorns on all of these. And I'm pretty sure you can only do it on apricorn leaves, so do that. Uh, you could probably have two of these side by side and just use the same apricorn leaf walls. If you want a large industrial machine, I doubt people will. But it'd be pretty cool to see if people actually use my guides to do that. There we go. This is the basic machine. And now to for the collection systems. Uh, it will not go into these deployers. I tested that, and that's why I have... Or, well, I pretty much just designed this thing. We'll put glass on the ends of these just so it catches all of the apricorns. On this one, I just have a bunch of casings. This is for decoration, make it nice, look nice and pretty. Over here, I will not be doing that. 
back here, we will need gearboxes, this, this, this. Connect these, connect these. And then we'll need a sequence gear shift, which these are made. Cogwheel, electron tube, brass casing. It, it, it takes a little bit, but it's pretty simple if you know what you're doing with Create. Uh, I suggest just rushing the nether. And all you really need to do is find a blaze spawn, right click it a couple times, and rush back out. I'll cover this up, as I don't want escaping. Uh, back here, although, I'll put an observer, because we just need random pulses to get this thing to actually fire. Pink red stunt, or pink wool, just so it's visible. You can use any blocks here. I'm just using this. Then you'll do turn to move piston pull a gantry five meters input speed forwards and then same again input speed reversed you can do double which is what i have that one set to that that pat rat just got launched anyways as we see here we have to put the encased fan a little back i'm using uh, you do not have to use yellow apricorns. I'm just using these because you can either use it for something else. I'm just using it so I can cook them. Because they can smelt into uh, dyes, which we need. And we'll put gearbox. Actually, let me... Uh, yeah, this only needs about a thousand units of power, so probably just some water wheels will work. Make sure your power is going so these are pushing outwards. And before I forget, make sure to just connect these up. Gearbox and chain uh, chain drives. Then we'll need in case fan, lava. I'll use glass just for protection sake. Uh, actually, I gotta move this back a block. So you want it to go three. Then your gearbox, case chain drives, case fan, lava. And something you should remember to do if you are doing this is to put a spruce trapdoor or something here to stop it. Apologies, Murray. Uh, just put something here. I'm using trapdoors. And then set this to yellow die. There we go. Yellow die, all set up, set up to filter. There we go. And then over here, all we have to do is cackle press, shaft, case chain drive, case chain drive, case chain drive, just so it smashes these into our black ball lids. Then this will go out a little further. Wait, ejector, deployer, put the deployer in line with the space. Then put your weighted ejector set to a shoot on top. There you go. To power this, just gearbox, two in case chain drives, and a shaft. Well, bam. It'll make sure to launch the yellow die up here. As you can see, there's the yellow apricorn. That will get uh, just destroyed. If you want to, you can set something to grab that, like we are this one. Over here, we'll get a smirt. Shoot. You can probably use other means or just do this manually. Lava. Black Apricorn Seed, Lava, Smart Shoot, Apricorn Seed, because we don't want those for this side. Over here, they'll get naturally processed. As you can see, yellow dye is already in here. Pull this out, then just two more deployers. I'm going to turn these up. Oh, there we go, you can see it activated. 
except it didn't do anything because these aren't powered. Oh god. Yeah, uh, something I forgot to do. Frame glass. Make sure you got this entire thing covered in glass or some other non-flammable block, just for safety. Oh, there we go. That, that was not a die, that was a Mareep. Shaft, case chain drives going up. So then case chain drives going up here, shaft there. Gearbox from the inventory. With this one, you can just hook up to it spruce drawer. Let me put all my items down temporarily. Apologies. And then a bunch of gold nuggets. I have a video on a create mod gold farm. If you'd like to look, take a look at that, I'd suggest a vanilla one would also work incredibly well if you're able to transport it to the open world. And then this one the iron ball base, you just need iron ingots. I also have a video on that. It will be linked. You just have to put it over a saw. So let's get rid of a saw. Iron. This. Our filter. Doot, doot. I also need a wrench. I know I just put all this stuff down, but still. Extend it. Do that. And we can put a mechanical saw in between these, turn it. Then we need three gearboxes, which I hope if we put this here, it will go the correct way. Set this to that. Then you just have to put iron over here. It'll automatically create the bases. It takes a minute. There you go. Then for our collection system, all we need is a drawer or a chest or something of the sort. And then a brass funnel. And there we go. We have our Ultra Ball machine. I'm using Ultra Balls mainly as an example. I suggest making these collection spots bigger, of course, by just making them taller can make them larger but you'd have to also prepare a larger space in the back but yeah here is my simple ultra ball machine uh, links to the iron and gold farm will be put in the description same with the mods for curse forge you can easily find the mandrins as well and this has been card the dreamman with another video i hope someone will be able to use this thanks for watching